Hello everyone, Huba Fana doing great. Welcome to Elios Tech channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I'm so excited to see you all once again. And today I am with one of the another most important topic, which is called PUE. What does PUE stand for? What is the main purpose of PUE? And which company was the first company who introduced the first standard for a PUE? Does PUE bring a lot of facility for the technical folks, even for non-technical folks as well. Why we should learn and know what is PV. This all question will be answered by, of course, this clip. Okay. PV. PV stand for power over Ethernet. What is Ethernet and how we can receive a power over Ethernet? Ethernet is a types of network cable that we are using in daily basis. I'm sure most of you are a witness of this kind of cable in your office or in some of the home as well. So this is called the Ethernet cable. So now what we have, we have a power over Ethernet we can receive electricity through the Ethernet cable. Let's talk about which company was the first company who introduced the first standard. I'm sure most of you would say it is IEEE, Institute of Electrical Electronic Engineering, but mm -hmm. let's see which company was that. Okay, the first, uh, the first PUE standard was introduced by Cisco company, which is called Cisco inline power, which is called the Cisco inline power. That was the first standard before IEEE. IEEE launched its own standard later on, but the Cisco company was the first company who introduced the power over Ethernet. Why the Cisco engineers branch out and come out with these kind of ideas or technologies? Because the Cisco company, they have IP telephony handsets so their engineers thought what if we remove the adapter how we can transfer electricity for that handset and Cisco use CDP protocol if you are a technical person if you have a network class if you have a CCNA or CCNP and CCIA you know what I'm talking about with the help of CDP Cisco devices discover the device which looking for power over Ethernet with the help of CDB Cisco Discovery Protocol and we do have LLDP link layer discovery protocol. If you're not familiar about this word, just keep it as an information. Then IEEE come with the two another standard. Okay, PV types and power level. Previous PV technology including PV type 1, also called as IEEE 802.3F and PV type 2 better known as 802.380 or PV+. Both utilize two pair power over Ethernet. Type 1 with a maximum of 15.4 watt per port and type 2 with the maximum of 30 watt per port. It's too much. But yes, this was the information about the type 1 and type 2 with the new 802.380 3BT standard come with the two options type 3 and type 4. Type 3 is also called as 4 pair power over Ethernet or 4 PPOE 4 pair power over Ethernet or we can say that PUE plus plus it's double plus now or UPUE which is called universal power over Ethernet it produces it provides 60 watt of the power per port and, and it's idle for video conferencing equipment, multi radio wireless access point, PTZ camera, and building management devices. Let's look at the chart with the more details. I was reading some other stuff for better information. But when you see the when you see the chart in here it shows at the beginning we have a PUE which is IEEE 802.3.AF um, 
at a SPUE uh, IEEE 802.3 AF. So the power to power devices like PD, it is uh, 12.95 watt. So the maximum power can deliver through the PUE, it's not the PUE plus plus. We can get 15.4 watt. Right. So the good thing is in here, uh, the PUE is not plus plus or so on. It uses only two pair of the Ethernet cable, uh, voice over IP phone, wireless access points, and so on. So the same as with the PUE plus IEEE 802.3 AF, uh, 25 25.5 watt as the minimum and the maximum as 30 watt. This one is also using two pairs of the copper or Ethernet cable. So this is also for PTZ camera. Video, that is a good thing. So it's heavy data. Um, video, IP phone, alarm system. But overall, the last but not least, we do have a power over Ethernet plus plus. So overall, we have two types of that, which is called type three and type four. Uh, the minimum, uh, as 51 watt and the maximum is 60 watt this one is using four pairs so which is good so it's good for video conferencing equipment multi-radio wireless access point multi-radio access point like it's not only wireless access point it's, you can use for any types of purpose so we have a, a telecommunication antenna so it is not only the access point that we have uh, at the office so on so uh, the last is PV++ type 4. So wow, so this one is providing 41.3 watt and up to 100 watt using four pairs. Oh my God, this pair, this kind of switch or devices will uh, provide some current uh, as well. Of course, it's too much. It's good for laptops. So once that provide a power over Ethernet for the laptop, of course, that's uh, that is a lot flat screen so flat screen is also uh, like touch screen so on uh, but yes this all information uh, was about uh, PV types and power levels okay the last but not least I'm going to tell you that the power of the Ethernet as runs only on Giga Ethernet or Giga ports of the network devices that we have it should be a network devices such as Cisco switch any types of switch, it's not only Cisco switch, but one, one tips I'm going to share with all of you is that most of the Cisco device does not come with a power over Ethernet. If you want to look for a power over Ethernet, you have to find out the types of switch which only runs the power over Ethernet. The last but not least, from the old standpoint, one thing I want to tell you, if you're so fascinating for power over Ethernet, try to make sure your server room or data center or any place that you place the power over Ethernet switch that temperature should be good because the switch will get heat and of course that gonna be a that gonna be a dangerous for your career first the second for the place where you place devices okay I hope the information was very helpful if you think it was very helpful what are you waiting for go ahead and share this information with your colleagues with your friend with your family and with whoever you think they will pursue and chasing the information communication technology the only way to appreciate my work is to like and subscribe my channel until next time stay safe be brave and of course see you next time